Okay. Single paradigm. We providing uh, some PDF sheets. And when I'm instructing this, I kind of exaggerate the motion because I would like to present what occurs when you're playing your paradiddle up tempo. Okay, so there's a couple important elements here. We all should know at, by now what a, the paradiddle sticking is. It's right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. And we're going to put an accent on the downbeat, the first note of each paradiddle. So when this occurs, we have two sounds. We have an accent and an, a non-accent inside of the paradiddle. We have one, two, three, four. Now there's a motion that occurs, which I'm going to exaggerate. <clears throat> we all should become familiar with the level system, the control strokes, the downstroke, the tap, and the upstroke, and the free stroke. Okay, so with that being said, is my approach to learning and teaching the single paradiddle with the accent on the first note of each paradiddle. Like I said, I'm going to exaggerate. So my hand position is like this. My left hand is in the downstroke position. My right hand is in the, in the full stroke position. Now my first stroke is going to be a downstroke to obtain the accent. Now, now notice the hands. To equal distance to the drum. My next stroke is going to be a left hand upstroke only because I want to get in position to attack the up and coming accent. Up. And two taps. Tap, tap. Again, this time from the left side. Down, up, tap, tap. Down, up, tap, tap. Down, up, tap, tap. It's a very simple procedure, but you need to follow that. And you have to, like, practicing is a personal thing. You know, if you're too light or too heavy with the right and you're getting that, then something doesn't sound right. So it's up to you to hear that and correct it. It's downstroke, upstroke, tap, tap. Downstroke, upstroke, Tap. Now I put it into a quarter note formation. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. My speed stroke is the upstroke. I'm in position, waiting to attack. One, two, three, four. Exaggerated. One, just for demonstration purposes only. One, two, three, four. Now you feel good with the quarter note version, go to the eighth note. <coughs> the eighth note count is 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. The same process occurs when you're doing that in eighth notes. It's down, up, tap, tap, down, up, now eighth notes. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4. Notice the sound. The consistency of sound. The accent sounds the same. The up and tap, tap sound the same. Okay, so now we did quarter notes, eighth notes, now we'll take it to a sixteenth note version. Sixteenth notes, one E and the two E and the three E and the four E and the. I'm going to exaggerate again. I'm going to start here. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Again, one E and a. We see the motions there. Two E and a. And you take this any place you like. So on and so forth. Now, what I like to do, once I f understand the movement, what's occurring, I like to play the lines. Quarter note, eighth note, sixteenth, eighth note, quarter note, eighth note, sixteenth, eighth note, quarter note, so on and so forth. <coughs> so I'll put the metronome on, not very fast, at a hundred. I'm going to play two lines, <coughs> quarter notes, two lines, eighth notes, two lines, sixteenths, two lines, eighth notes, back to the quarter notes, over and over again. Here we go. 
consistency in the sound. My downstroke, whether it was in the quarter note platform or the eighth note platform or the sixteenth note platform, all sounded the same. And all the additional notes sounded the same as well. All right, that was at one, 100. Let's drop it up to, uh, let's say, 150. And I'll suggest, if this is new to you, from, say, 100 to go to that increment of 150, gradually get to 150. Now remember, quarter notes, eighths and sixteenths. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. Eighth notes. Sixteenths. so on and so forth. Now, what's most important here, it's not the element of speed, unless you know you want to play in super speed, which is okay. You have to remember, in order to get to that point, you have to go backwards somewhat. And like I said, practicing is a personal thing. You hear something wrong, you're having a little difficulty with something, you need to go back and improve it. The more you play this, the stronger the paradiddle becomes because you're reinforcing what's natural, the most. Now I left you, if you'd like the PDF, my email is below the video, and just email me and I'll send you the PDF. Okay? Okay guys, have a good day. And